guys and welcome to Little Talks. Where little things matter. Now today's episode of Little Talks is a very interesting one. Oh, yes. Like we, you know, we always bring it to you back to back. Okay. A very like a very relevant topic. The one everyone has always wanted to talk about, but one way or the other I've always ignored it. Exactly. So today we'll be talking about or be talking on attitude and character. Yeah. But before guys. then, I hope you're not forgetting your friends. My name is Kazim Mulana and I am Iha Topic. Okay, so now back to the topic attitude and character. character. So first let's let's say what attitude like what you, I don't know, you know these two are kind of interwoven or convincing. Yeah. You know, people always mistake like they, they switch, put, yeah, they switch. switch the meaning of these two. Now let me just to be clear on what we're talking about. Attitude is a person's preference in a certain situation mm-hmm. or thing. Why character is um, is the overall uh, quality of a person. So let's just say attitude is the way you react to a situation or a circumstance or a thing. Why character is your qualities. And it's always said that one could hide their, um, one could always like change or fake their attitude, but you can never hide your character. It's like a character is a part of you. It's, it's your quality. Yeah. Yes, it's your quality. And it's in you. Or like so, character. Really, which which do you think people see first? Like, is it the attitude or the character? I feel is attitude. attitude because attitude. before that's people, how you react. Right? Don't, yeah, that's how you react that is too. where you react. So people see your reaction first, and I think character can only be known when they move closer to, to you. you. So like, only a close person would know your true character. character. Mm. So character is like. That stuff you continue doing mm-hmm. all the time. There is a saying that things that define you. You know, when someone wants to define who is that girl, oh, yeah. she's a very quiet, um, easy going. Yeah. You know, those are your characters. You know, the way people qualify you. So now that's your character. So Lola, what, what's your character like? Right? I want to people to let me let, me let me define it. Okay. No, why about you go first? No, what define define you? mine. You let me, let your character see. is. First of all, you are you are very energetic okay. and you know easy going. Mm-hmm. But they used to offer on sometimes. Sometimes you when you when you just on, you are on the going side. But should we just off? I uh, you don't finish like you basically. I don't know. Should I say you are introvert extrovert? Because sometimes you are really out loud and sometimes you know you are that like, word. <clears throat> You know that word, what she's trying to say is that you be like saying switch them my head. Yes. One wire they the come out. They come out. They spark. Or they come out. So when, when you touch each other like that, they go off. When the thing come out, come out. So that's the picture of what she said. I said move back. Okay. So what about me? <clears throat> Let's see. Um, faithful. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Character. <laughs> Let's talk about character. No, uh, yeah. okay, character. Yeah. yeah. So Faith is. Um, she is an easygoing person. Yes, she is. She is. Um, she's a kind of person that wants, like, she's a kind of person that likes to be alone sometimes. Likes to be alone and quiet. Faith is the kind of person that has a lot in her mind but says little. She is that kind of person. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> yes, she is. Like she doesn't. You know when, when you know when you tell someone that you don't use your own mouth to talk. That is faith. I don't she use. Doesn't, that. I used to talk. No, she talks. In, she most times she talks in parables. Like she just drop. Yeah. She just drop an hint and she leaves. Oh my like gosh! She expects to figure ah. out things out by herself. You know me. <laughs> but then no, it's just I have the the thing is it's true what you say. I'm not quiet. That was, I'm not okay. I'm not a quiet person, but the best they are true. The thing is, I just have I find it hard to express myself. I don't know how to express myself. So most times I don't just you know talk everything out because I don't know how to express myself. I don't want you to get a wrong meaning of what I'm trying to say. So I'll just try to say it at a level of where you I think you understand and where I can go. If I can go further. Now, what she forgot to mention about me is I'm a shy person. I know that's very hard to believe, but trust me, I am. <laughs> that, that's no, not no, 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 it's for you. You're the only one 
not that no that one. <laughs> no, let okay, let me explain this. Okay. I'm the kind of person that when we meet for the first time, you're yeah. like, hey, um, she's she's with sad, she doesn't talk. Okay, for the first but time. But when we become close, they're like, okay. don't even keep quiet. Like okay. I'm mean, the spark for you, right? Hey, Maybe we are close enough. That, 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 yeah, that before. that's my kind of person. Like meeting you for the first time, I'm very shy. I don't understand the conversation. I'm like a very shy person on a first date. Like, like meeting you on the first time, I was yeah. like, ah, this one. I beg, I'm not gonna fix. <laughs> you are, you don't smile. You are all about your business. You go your own way, and like that's it. But that's really getting to know you, it's pretty like, cool. You only get to see my full praise, like my full package when we are close. Exactly. Wow, that's a lot. Now today, what we are going to be talking mostly about is how to deal with <coughs> negative attitude and character. And one thing I often wonder is people that emit this attitude, negative attitude, do they even know they have it? Like, one thing is we have to know is everybody at some point have a toxic trait, a toxic character and attitude which they emit is in us. Like, let's not even play angels. I have my own bad side that I know that it is not really nice. You have your own bad side. But does. the thing is, how do you manage it? You know, so we're talking about how to manage a negative attitude and people that have, you know, bring in negative like, attitude. No, first of all, I think one way in how to manage individuals that have negative attitudes. So probably you're giving me negative. I'm, for me, I'm all about vibe. I'm all about the energy. When your energy is not matching my energy, I would know how to, you know, stay off the lane and keep, because I have, I'm such a person of the positive energy. So okay, the negative energy is coming. Definitely, it's good. Two can't work together except they agree. You know? So those like two different positive, negative. Definitely, one is going to go down. Sometimes I want to be like a little bit selfish and keep my energy high, so as to try to you know influence the other person. Yeah, I'll try to like influence the other person instead of the negative energy influencing me. All of us will be down. Why not I transmit over the positive? energy so i think that's one way by which i manage individuals that have negative energy you know for negative character yeah so i know we are managing um someone with a bad attitude or, okay bad attitude for example is i don't know personally i just uh, keep mute you know when you once i see we're not working out like we can't yeah. work together i just allow you win win the whole situation with your own vibe and then i'm mute so when you're done, you know, you just go with it and it starts. That's it. <laughs> wow, everybody and, you know, the individual ways of mm -hmm. how to manage this attitude. But then, guys, we just got started and we'll be right back just after the short break to give you more tips on how to manage bad this attitude. bad attitude. Welcome to Little Star. Yes, Little Things Matters. And on this show, we are going to be touching every aspect of our daily lives that really matters but has been ignored. Little things like who oh, in this 21st century own a business with no social media page? Uh -uh. And on time management, some business owners resume work by 11 a.m. And please do not tell me you're still in that relationship with a babe that asks you for 2K urgently. 2K urgently, just that. Or the babe that asks you to sub for her. You. Now, these are the little things we are talking about and we are going to be sharing it with you guys. And trust me, you do not want to miss it for no reason. Mm -hmm. Now to be part of this show, join us on Stunt TV every Saturday, 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. We remain your humble host. He has our faith, Kazim Omolola. Now let's go! Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Talks Where Little Things Matter Yes guys, thank you for staying tuned to us on this show on today's episode Now, don't forget what we are talking about We are talking about attitude And before we went on break, we were talking on how to manage attitude Now before we... Bad, bad attitude, attitude. Negative attitude yeah. But before we go into that, I would like to chip in this quote Never let your negative attitude or an external negative attitude to determine how your response, response will be really it goes a long way or to determine how your day will be or don't let it affect you never let a negative attitude affect you always look for ways you can you know manage it so let's dive into what we're talking about so um how to manage negative attitude yeah. okay first of all 
I would say um, start a conversation with the person. Yeah. yeah. Now let and let the person let the person respond be like a stepping stone, like um, mm -hmm. an avenue to start yeah. a problem solving discussion with the person. And when I say a person, I mean the person with the negative attitude. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm with the negative attitude and she's the one trying to correct me or bring to my notice the things I do. Mm -hmm. So instead of just coming up with you have a bad attitude or you have yeah, two exactly. you know, just start a, you know, greet the person, Hello. just start a conversation with the person and let my response determine how you start a problem solving conversation. You don't just bring it out to the person yeah. like that. And and this is really effective when we probably you guys just had an outburst or maybe an argument. So this person is really pouring out all the negativity coming from somewhere or thereabout. And instead of you responding in the same manner, you can just chill be and calm. be like, hi. But just imagine that. Someone is shouting for you it's and you're like, hi, hi. <laughs> they will slap you. But really, guys, no, it's all about you. It's, it's all about like having a, a positive response. Mm -hmm. Instead of you but trying I don't know, instead of I don't know, instead of slapping as a reaction, I feel it melts the person at, you know, look at someone and ah, you know, know. at and the person is responding. That way. I don't know. For me, it's like kind of yeah, make everything. Calm. Thank God you said for you. Also for me, I'm just going to be like, okay, this person is trying to try me. You know, everybody at how now it depends on the yeah, situation. Yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. You know, the situation. You know, some people will be angry. Like they just want to. They don't even want to hear. Like mm -hmm. why? Why are you calm? How can you be calm in this situation? You know, yeah. but really, it's a stepping stone on you getting to know what really happened and talking to the person i mean if you check it should go to a long way mm -hmm. because at the end of the day when the person is calm you remember like oh wow this person it shows a sign of maturity and we'll see yeah for you to be able to you know respond mm -hmm. i think we spoke about that when we we're talking about dealing with anger yeah, yeah definitely did. definitely yeah we did for all of you guys who are yet to watch that series you should go back we've talked on hang anger and how to handle anger issues so definitely you should go back and watch that mm -hmm. episode but anyways like she said so the first thing is you can start a conversation with the person in a very nice way and nice manner and that will give you a step yes, on definitely. how to you know, start the start conversation. conversation. Now, probably you guys have started the conversation. The next thing you should do is to check out the, the root of the problem. Like, why is this happening? Where is this coming from? Now, you have to check the person. If it's someone you've known for a very long time, and probably you know, okay, this is not how she is on a normal day. Or, okay, fine. This is how she is on a normal but you know, day. But um, attitude angry. is like your reaction to situations. So I don't know, would you always have a bad or a negative reaction to every situation? No, there is there is that particular feeling when okay. a situation is coming up. And there is that, you know, attitude is particular. It's how you react. How do we know it's your attitude? It's when you do it when all you the do time. It, sure. When you do it all the time. So when you do it one time, it might just be a one-time stuff. I think that's also an attitude. Because no, 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 attitude no, no, no. is just your reaction to a situation, not your constant reaction in situations. On that part, I think I'm just going to disagree because there are sometimes you may react to something, but that's really not really how you are. That's, that's character. Really like attitude. That's character. You know, guys, this is really <laughs> okay. Now this is, this is really why I said at first that people like people this mix this yeah, a lot. It's, it's very easy to like it's a it's just it's a so, word, so okay what do we do when i just reacted to something that's attitude your attitude is reacting in whatever situation the reaction you give in a particular situation is your attitude now so, when you continue when you do something when you constantly do it that it now becomes your quality like one of these people used to qualify you that is your character that is your attitude can with time become your character so how do we differentiate when it's happening one time and when it happens, how do we know? Okay, this one is the one time. Like what you said, you said especially when you know the person, you know this is not how the person reacts. Definitely, yeah. So now you know it's just a response. It's just like it's just a response to what happened at that given time. So, so by that way, finding the root is like checking definitely from your discussions and the best the individual's response. You are definitely going to locate one or two issues or where it's coming from if the person is really open to talk at that about point it. now 
sometimes some individuals would rather not say anything you can also give them space of course and then after a while you can come back and be like okay can we start talk about it and start over again so we, that will give you um, a stepping ground in case an issue like that should occur next time you, you know how to manage it better because now at least you know some few things and some few tips on how you know you can go around it so also when you found the root the next step as a nice individual is to look for things or tips that you can use to change, change the attitude. change in the attitude you know so it can be whatsoever advice and even though at that point in time you really don't have any strong advice you can give to the person or you don't know how to handle the situation you can still take up some time and research look for ways talk to people and if you get any positive response you can also tell the person okay fine this can happen when you feel this way or probably i can handle the situation better when this individual is in this case so, so yeah and a simple um you just have to be kind like a simple simple words can also go a long way yeah asking the person to you know instead of reacting immediately why don't you just take some time off think about it again and think of how you would like to react best yeah. to that particular situation definitely then another step in how to you know manage negative attitude is setting limits yeah. now in, on my own understanding it's like letting people know when they are Getting boundaries, to setting limits, boundaries. Setting boundaries. Like, okay, fam, you can't go there. Like, just stop. Although some people are like over the head and they're already heated up, they might want to go over. But then, once you set the boundaries and they know, I think it it saves it's a lot more. It kind of reduces yes, the attitude, the attitude yes. and all the things. At least this person knows that. Okay, this. When it comes to this issue, she's a no go area. I wasn't. Well, setting it like setting a limit for yourself as a um, negative person. Yeah, like definitely. Negative uh, person with a negative attitude. Like you telling yourself that okay, whenever I'm peace, I would not refer to this person's home. Mm. I would not, um, you know, cause this person's family in a, like just definitely. just um, in a sign of reacting to the situation. Like you just setting limits of the things you're not going to do when you're angry. Uh, those that um, attitude, those people that are cause when they are angry, angry. you're just telling yourself, okay, now I will never cross when I'm angry. Like, setting the limit, setting the kind of thing like setting the things you do not want to do when you're angry or when you're in a bad mood. Now, those are limits for yourself, yeah. and definitely, you know, this is not just happen overnight, most of them are out of impulse and it just happened. So, definitely, you can start setting your limits. Gradually. step by step gradually and before time you know it's already a part of you and what you believe now another step is expecting positive change yes guys this is very important yeah like you know once once you've spoken to a person you've um, advised the person i think the next thing is you know, kind of expect a positive change and like that's i feel that's like a feedback section mm, yeah. where you go back to the person what's the word we discuss any change yeah how do you feel now how do you manage it now you know that's like expressing not like you advise someone and you then leave it all to the person that's your problem i've done it so i can do and the rest yourself nah that's how to you know advise or so, i'll tell people how to change their attitude it's always going back for feedback and you expecting a positive change and note that if this positive doesn't just come at all, at all. It, doesn't, it doesn't just come instantly or when you go back for feedback and the person tells you it's still the same you don't you don't blow up our work i know you won't change <laughs> you know you know you don't just get provoked yeah. like that you allow you kind of encourage the person to know that change is not just like it's not a one day thing it's something that goes right around Okay, so and the next one is being, being careful, careful of personal, personal problems. problems. Like you know, I don't know this. Most times, I think this is like the root of. This all, is actually the root. Of yeah, all I think this is the root attitude. of all negative attitudes. When you check, is probably something happened. Having had family a issue, having like something being like probably there's something that happened in the house before yeah. moving. Most times, especially the place of work, it always starts with how. You left the house mm. you know when you come back being aggressive or you come out being you know being kind of a bad mood so anybody that comes at you you snap at like just snap at anybody but you know it all goes down to like how we manage it so now exactly. i'm going to say this on a personal instance 
Remember, I was when we were in school, secondary school, so we have teachers, and sometimes our teachers, especially male teachers, will be angry in school, and you hear comments like, "Okay, the wife not cook for her," or probably the wife is they have issues with the school, yeah, yeah, home issues. That was especially even lecturers down to university level. So I grew up with the mentality that my work etiquette is never to mix my personal issues with work. work. Exactly. Like I don't know how it is to other people. Like because just because of what happened when I was in school, that I don't want I don't want people to know what's happening in my own home just by my reaction and the way I am. Mm -hmm. So when even though I'm having issues with home, like or personal issues, I try as much as possible. To drop it not to, yes like i don't want anyone at work and my workplace to know if i thought they know it's probably because okay i want them to know and i want someone to comfort me or so okay. but yeah, but, but, yeah it's just something i do i try so hard so i think it's it's something we can manage because over time i've seen that i was able to do that for people that think that once they have issues at home, ah, it's finished, that day is finished, there's nothing. Well, it's they easy to manage for those that can manage it. Yeah. You know, not everyone you know, know how to manage it. Okay, for me now, I grew up with it. So it's like a mindset. That's why it's easy for mm -hmm. me to do, actually. But it totally makes sense. It's not easy. And especially when it's serious issues, like for instance, loss, losing a loved one. Okay. No, I don't think there's any way. No, that kind of thing. You can't control it. You can't so control that. It's definitely someone might even step on your toes and be angry because at that at that stage you are dealing with everything. You are thinking about the Lord. So really. Okay. All right, now so we are going to be mentioning some of you know the negative attitude. Let me put it like that. Yeah. Qualifications of negative attitude. Like, you know the name. Yeah, the name people. I don't know. Saying that okay, this one. Oh, let's say classifications. I don't know. But it's just the name. Yeah. People call bad attitude. That's it. So number one is arrogant. When an individual is arrogant, we tend to say this person is giving out negative attitude. Then it's um, number two is rude rudeness or rude. Like when a person is being rude, that's also a bad attitude. But sometimes people feel like ah, I'm, I'm rude, I know it. That's why I say, you know, at first, being rude is an attitude because that's the that's your reaction given in that situation. Yeah. But when it's something you do constantly, it becomes a character. So that is when they say, oh, that that is that the people now use it to qualify you. That person is just a good person. That is how she is. Now it becomes a part of you, and yeah. it becomes your character. And to the outside people, it's something that is negative. Yeah, it is negative. Like actually, probably let's just say it starts with a negative attitude. Mm. That's nice. Then another one is being irresponsible. Yeah, being okay. irresponsible is a very bad attitude also. Mm -hmm. Then another one is being blunt. Now this I cannot avoid. I don't know. Some individuals feel they have the liberty to say whatsoever they want to say at whatsoever time however they want to say but now let's go into the professional world really you guys it's not all about me and blunt i know i can say anything but then you should like try to curtail how you talk and how you present yourself in the public because to some extent being blunt is a negative attitude well on the other hand i think i kind of appreciate people that are blunt because it you depends know, they, on the settings they are. Yeah, exactly. I, said, I came from a professional perspective. That, that's why I said, um, I don't know, in some situations, like, I respect people that are blunt. So the gods they have to say everything they feel, to like express everything they have in their mind. It's oh, like a very it's a for us that don't know how to express. <laughs> I oh my swear. God. <laughs> so like, I kind of like, respect blunt people. But then there are some situations where you don't necessarily have to, have be, to be blunt. Like no. you just know how to curtail your bluntness. It's really, really necessary. So we can say that to some extent, it's not such a bad idea. But also, too much of everything is definitely that, bad. Um, yeah, when you when you when you use your bluntness in the wrong situation, now that is a wrong attitude. Definitely a wrong attitude. Yeah. So we also have jealousy. Yeah. Jealousy is a bad. Attitude. To some extent, I think. To a very large extent, is a very bad, bad attitude. attitude. Yeah, because jealousy leads to a lot a of lot negative of things. things. Yes, yeah. and one thing about jealousy is normal 
if you actually check our individual life, at some point in time, it's just something, it's a feeling. I think we've talked about jealousy also, yeah. It's a feeling we get, yeah. We mentioned it, I remember. I think we mentioned it in the topic. No topic, yes. yes. So it's a feeling that we emit. So most times, we don't even get jealous intentionally. Yes. It just happens. It's how you manage it. And what, how you, you know, what you do to it that it leads to mm-hmm. negative attitude. No, for, now, talking about it in the negative context is when you are jealous and because you are jealous of an individual, you now you tend to talk to the person anyhow. You want to hurt the person. Or you start not, the person. Yes. When the person talks to you, it goes like you just want to turn everything it you in the wrong spot. Like whatever the person say, be it good or bad, it just eat you in the wrong mm-hmm. spot and you're always having this negative response to everything the person does. Now that is really bad because at the end of the day, it's going to you end up being affected. Mm-hmm. Even your mental health will be down because if you're not helping yourself, neither are you you're not helping like, so I, I think it's even your yeah. um, your growth, like your progress will also yeah. be because it's instead of thinking of how to be progressive or I'm how, to, of how to you are, yeah you're thinking of someone else when you should spend the time on how to improve in your life and also jealousy goes together with you know envy yes. it goes together so it's when you're envious when you're envious it's the same thing with jealousy all right guys so i hope you've learned a lot from this little piece of our you know little talk because really i've gotten to learn so much from today's topic sure. on how to manage attitude. Now, one thing you should take home from me, and also what I should take home is always try to be on the positive stream of whatever it is mm-hmm. you are giving out. It's trust me, it's not easy to always be positive. To some extent, people will be like, "She's living a fake life. He's living a fake life. We are not being real." But then, it's what makes you happy. Me, I don't have an issue being trying to stay positive even when I'm hurting. But I don't know. I kind of have this feeling that you can't be, you can't always be happy. You just try. No, yeah, try you can't. But when I see people that are always happy, I have this mindset that this person is hurt deep down and is using this happiness to cover up. I don't know. That's just how I see it. Like, when I see someone that is mm-hmm. always happy, happy, I just have this feeling that there's something wrong somewhere. This person is hurting, but it's using this smile and happy stuff to cover it up. Well, I don't think, I, don't, I won't agree with that. Like, anyway, different individuals and their different perspectives to think. Sometimes, individuals are truly happy in this world at the end yes, of the day. Yes. That's just it. Like, always. Not always, not all the time. Definitely. But have you ever met someone that you've never seen personally? They are individuals. They know I don't how know. to manage people, their anger no, outside. No, people, people tell me that. that. No, I've not seen you angry. Ha, ha, ha. And I tell them that because you've not passed boundaries. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know. Like, because I know <laughs> I am not always you are not, not angry. <laughs> <laughs> Some people tell me, Lola, well, I've not seen you angry. I said, maybe because you're doing well and you've not passed boundaries. I wouldn't just show up angry at you if you've not passed boundaries. Yeah, so. But anyway, this was a really nice section mm-hmm. and I enjoyed every bit. I hope you don't forget who we are. My name is Ehat of Faith. And my name is Kazim Omolola. And don't forget to always tune in and follow us on Stunt TV. S-T-O-N-T TV. Every Saturday, 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And please do not forget to click the subscribe button down. Yes, please, right. we are begging. Like, it's, 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 it's a kind of way of you um, encouraging us. Definitely. So please click the subscribe button at the end of the show. And do not forget to leave your comment, your question, and whatever contribution you have to say in the comment section. Alright guys, that is a wrap. Now we say bye-bye. Bye-bye.